I wish I could, like, afford to be at the Kauai area right now. Because if I had all the areas unlocked, whenever a new area comes out, I could just, like, get that, like, I could just unlock that area and make fun of the update, you know? But, like, I can't do that. Like, it would take, I'd have to play this game a lot to do that. And I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> like, I'd have to play in my free time. Like, you think I'm gonna be doing that? So, about a week ago, I made a video playing Pet Simulator X for the first time to see what all the hype was about. In that video, I said I wanted to be able to unlock all the areas. Now, I wouldn't do that because I'd have to spend my free time playing this game, but I've had a change of heart. So, I'm going to be doing just that. Why? Because I thought it'd be funny. So, in my last video, I left off in Tech World, and I went to this talking portal, and it told me to break two chests, so that's exactly what I did. After I broke both of the chests, it let me go to a new area called the Void. The Void's basically just some area that sends you to many different worlds, and the first world I could go to was Axolotl Ocean. I sped through this pretty quickly, it was- it only took like a couple minutes I'd say. I unlocked this area, and then went on to the next area, which unlocked this giant chest. After breaking it once, I went on back to the void to go to the next world. The next world's Pixel World, and this one was pretty quick as well. I already had a bunch of leftover coins from Axolotl World, so I opened- I unlocked this area. The next one needed 75 million coins, so I spent about a minute getting 30 million coins to unlock that area. I then bought that door, got some more coins to buy the next door, and that led me to another giant chest. After breaking that once, I moved on to the next world. The next world's Cat World, I also sped through this one pretty quickly. The door needed about a billion coins, and I already almost had a billion, so I just got a few more coins, and then I bought that door. The next one needed 6 billion coins, so again, I didn't have enough. So here's just a time lapse of me getting all the coins I needed. I then bought the rest of the areas and moved on to the next world. This next place tried to scare me with the color purple, but little do they know my favorite color is purple, since it's not already obvious. But basically, the next world is called the Limbo. It's basically the same thing as the Void, but as New Worlds. And it's just got Doodle World and Kawaii World. Kawaii World is the last world and my end goal. And the second I got to Doodle World, I realized... This is gonna be a while. Not only does it take over a second to destroy a pile of coins, there's also like a billion areas. After unlocking a few areas, I found this chest that said 25 times coins, and it gave me tons of coins. And I mean tons. I bought the next area, and it led me to yet another giant chest. And unlike all the other chests where it only took like 30 seconds to a minute to destroy, this one took me quite a while, and I was here for a very long time, but after I destroyed it, someone sent me a tra trade request and sent me this crazy pet. It easily became my best pet. Then they sent me another trade request, and they sent me this crazy pet, which is even better than the last pet they gave me. It's funny how the only pets I've been using have been traded to me. Anyways, I bought this area. It took quite a while to get that many coins, and I had spent so long in this game that I even unlocked the very last gift. Now I'm nearly done with this stupid world, and for some reason they've got two chests in this world, I don't know. But yeah, I finished Doodle World, whatever it was called, and I moved on to Kawaii World. I still had leftover coins, so I quickly unlocked the first area, and I go to the next area and I'm like, uh oh. 
This is going to be even longer than Doodle World. But then, lucky for me, I found this a hundred times coins chest thingy. And that gave me a ton of coins. If you thought the 25 one gave me a lot of coins, this one gave me a lot of coins. It gave me like 2 billion coins or something like that. Anyways, now I could easily buy the next area. And now this one decided to slap me in the face and say 6.5 billion coins. So it took me a while, but I finally bought it. I spent days in Kawaii World, like, maybe, like, two days, uh, and then I finally beat it. Yeah. There's also these things called alley eggs. Now, I spent, like, all day unlocking every single, uh, alley to find the egg, and I unlocked all of them, and the very last one decided to be where the egg was. It was a billion coins, so I put on a super lucky boost. I opened the egg, and then it's literally the most basic one, and I could have gotten that for 20 million coins. I was not happy. So I decided I'm not going to stop playing this game till I get a good pet. So I enchanted my pets to get a bunch of extra cartoon coins. It took me quite a while, but I did finally get it, although I used a lot of diamonds. I forgot to mention that someone also gave me like 60 million diamonds. I think it was that swaggy guy. Um, so I basically just got his whole inventory. <laughs> anyway. Then I bought this 1.4 billion coins. I got a legendary, which I was happy about because that's at least not the sailor whale. But then I got another sail sailor whale. And then another sailor whale. Narwhal, whatever. And then another Sailor Narwhal. So I basically just wasted a bunch of coins. But then I joined the game the next day and it's like, Oh, if you stay in this game a minute before the update, then you get a pet. And that was So then I stayed there for like half an hour and then it gave me this pet, which is a party axolotl, and that became my best pet. Then I did the event, it was just some St. Patrick's Day event. Um, and yeah, I, I did that, and then it allowed me to buy a bunch of pets, so then I got a bunch of goldens, and then combined that, and then I did the scavenger hunt thing, and I got the safari cat, and then another safari cat, and then another safari cat, and so now my whole team is just event pets. And then I also found this mysterious trader guy. But he wanted me to respect him more or something. Like, I know, crazy ask. But anyways, so I couldn't really buy anything proper from him. And yeah, so anyways guys, that'll be the end of this video. So until next time, goodbye.